So now what we're trying to do is we're trying to go from x's to y's. Okay, or, I'm sorry, we're trying to go to x and y's to r's and thetas. So the only thing that we are aware of here is we know if we have an x or a y, we can relate them as an r cosine theta, r sine of theta. Or if we have a, um, an x squared and y squared, we could replace that with a r squared. Right now, we don't have anything. However, I do see I have y minus 2 squared, which means I could expand that, correct? So I could say x squared plus this becomes y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 4. <sighs> Back to algebra 1 and algebra 2. You got no, but there's other people that I know do not, so we need to go back through it. I did. Because. Is everybody remembering our expanding? We don't want to forget that, Mahitha. Um, the expanding of the binomials. Make sure we remember that, OK? So now over here, guys, we have a grouping, don't we? We can replace this with a r squared. What can we replace the y with? And then I could subtract the 4 on both sides to equal 0. Oh, it was 4r. Sorry, that was minus 4r sine theta, right? OK. Now we still want to solve for r, correct? So we kind of have a little bit of an issue here. Um, what we could do now is add a 4r um, sine theta to both sides. And you get r squared equals 4r sine theta. The only reason why I'm doing this is because if I can divide by r, I eliminate my r, and I'm left with r equals 4 sine of theta. So what's the sine of theta? Well, we don't need to. Is our equation now in terms of r and theta? Yeah. And we're done. All right. OK, what's your question? <laughs> 